If you go to the start button, uh, you see SPSS, uh, IBM SPSS in your menu. You could also go to search programs and just type in SPSS. Open program. This can take a while. And then you can um, go to the data file that you really want to investigate. Um, for purposes, I will go use Burkina Faso. So uh, here, what you see is the data view. Each line is a participant, a respondent in this case, because we are analyzing a survey uh, data set. Um, so these are the responses that a person gave to the question that is labeled G019. Uh, now, what does this really mean? If you go to the variable view, you will see that each line is now the variable. Uh, and with the label, usually uh, the sentence that is asked to the participant is uh, written down. So here you can see the first variable, uh, G019, uh, is I see myself as a world citizen. Now, before we go on to analyze this item, uh, which is another word for question, uh, I will first show you how to open this data file from the syntax module. Uh, before you use the syntax model, you have to open a text editor. Go to File, say New, and Syntax. This opens this te text editor where you can just write your commands. Now the command for open a text fi uh, data file is get file apostrophe search for the location of the data file that you want to open. Uh, place the name of the data set file, close the apostrophe, and end with a dot. The dot actually signals to SPSS uh, that it is the end of the command. Okay, select the entire command and press the green button. You can also use Ctrl R. Now this opens up an output window. A window. Uh, where actually you can, you can view whether the um, uh, command is being processed and if you ask for any output, you will see your output there. Now we didn't ask for any output, we did ask for Chile. Here is the data file of Chile. Um, so the next step uh, that I want to discuss with you is how to explore the data. Now, a good way to start is to run the descriptors, frequencies, and to explore the missing values. I'll first close this data. Uh, if you go to Analyze, go to Descriptors, you could see, uh, just select the questions that you really want to uh, uh, know, or know more about. Uh, so let's say we're going to select the first question, press OK. You can also use the options uh, where you can uh, even, you know, the, the, the mean, the standard deviation, minimum, maximum are default, but you can also ask for the kurtosis and skewness, which says something about the normal distribution. Again, the output window uh, prints uh, the table that is asked for. Uh, well, as you can see, there are like 1,413 uh, observations. Um, there are no missing values. Um, you have a minimum of 1, maximum 4, and the mean is 1.7. So on average, people, they answer 1.7. Now, in order to interpret this 1.7, you need to know what the labels are of the variable. So you go to the um, uh, variable view, go to values and look at what the labels are. So basically one is strongly agree, four is strongly disagree. An average of 1.7 means that most of the people answer between strongly agree and agree. Now a better way to see how these answers are distributed, uh, you can do that with frequencies. 
Here you have a table uh, where for each answer it reports how many people answered that, uh, used that answer. So it's like 42% answer strongly agree, 37% answered agree, 10% answer disagree, and only almost 3% answer strongly disagree. Now let me show you how to do this in a syntax module. Uh, you can simply say for the script is use des as a short command for the script uh, and place the variable name behind it. Now if you also want to use uh, the kurtosis and um, skewness You will see it here, where I say, okay, the stats means statistics, uh, with the is sign, skewness, and kurtosis. Now, usually this is always the case uh, with um, uh, second commands. You can also uh, place this on the second line and just place it behind it. And also use the mean and standard deviation. Now, if you have no clue what kind of uh, words they would use uh, to get your data, to get the kurtosis and the skewness, you can just go to Analyze, Descriptives, go to Descriptives, and see if it's still there. Yeah. Paste, use the Paste command. The Paste button actually allows you to get the syntax uh, for the command that you're giving right here. So if you go to Paste, you here get descriptives, the same as here. Uh, this you do not have to write out fully. Uh, and here you have uh, statistics, is, mean, standard deviation, min, max, kurtosis, and skewness. Now, as you can see, usually you can uh, just use like the first three or four letters uh, to give a command, which allows you to get like a more, um, well, a nicer syntax, which is uh, short. Uh, for frequency, the same holds. You just use the first three letters and the variable name, and you get the same table. Uh, now here, actually, you see that there's like 121 missing. Um, so this was actually the second uh, thing that I wanted to discuss with you, is the missing values. In SPSS, you both have system missing and user-defined missing. Uh, we will go into system missing later on, uh, how to do this uh, with the recode command. For now, I'm going to show you how to um, assign certain values to missing. Now, you already see here that there are some missing values noted. Um, command for missing values, missing values, the variable we uh, use this, and we say that um, missing values are minus 5, for instance. As with the data, uh, get the data, you will only get a print that SPSS has executed the command. To really know what happened here, uh, you need to rerun the frequencies. Uh, so now we see um, that among missing values, there's only one line. Whereas here you have three lines of code. Now these no answer and don't know are now regarded as valid answers. Now how, of course, no answer and don't know, we would also like to regard them as missing. So how can we also include them uh, as missing? We'll just add the values. from minus 5 up to minus 1. And again, uh, we have three lines of missing values. We now created user-defined missing values. Uh, these missing values will usually not be taken into account into analysis, 
uh, and if you use a pairwise deletion it will only be these values if you use a listwise deletion it will be the entire case meaning the entire respondent that is not taken into account into the analysis now let's go on in how to relabel variables variables have names they have labels and the labels have values all of these can be changed let me first show that how it's done in syntax module uh, rename variables open brackets place the uh, name and run the analysis now if you see in a, a variable view you see Cosm, which is, is the new name of the variable. Um, now, if you want also to uh, change the variable label, you have to use command variable labels, use the, the, the new name of the variable, and open apostrophe uh, cosmopolitan deletion. And as you can see, it is changed into cosmopolitan allegiance. Um, if you also want to uh, change the labels of cosmopolitan allegiance, um, you first have to put the number of the uh, value then the label so as you can see I relabel the entire scale now we can check this whether it's done correctly by a frequencies and indeed it's completely uh, relabeled. The missing values I did not include in the relabel value command, so now it just shows the values of these uh, missing variables. Now let's go on to recode the variables. Um, what is important when recoding variables is whether you have nominal variables, ordinal or continuous variables. Nominal variables have usually only two, maybe multiple categories. can also be just um, a label which is text, for instance weekend versus weekdays. Uh, an ordinal variable usually has multiple categories uh, which follow a certain sequence. Uh, continuous variables uh, in those variables, also the zero has meaning. So let's go on in how to um, recode variables. If you want to do it through the menu, you can go to transform, recode into uh, same variables, go to cosmopolitan, and I will recode all the variables since I just relabeled uh, the variable labels, value labels. So value 1 will become 4, value 2 becomes 3, and value 4 becomes 1. Oh, sorry, I missed 1. 3 becomes 2. Um, so if I press OK, it shows the command here and if I rerun this command you will see that it flipped around now what is the advantage of what I just did the advantage is that now the higher numbers indicate a more positive attitude towards the item that's being asked which is usually uh, nice nicer when you have to interpret regression coefficients uh, or factor analysis now here I already uh, placed the uh, types of commands that I uh, that you can use uh, using the syntax uh, module to recode variables. The first command recodes it in the same 
uh, variable name, so it will just overwrite uh, the variable that you have in your data set. The second command actually creates a new variable uh, labeled cosm uh, underscore r. Uh, if you run this command, you will see at the end of your data file a new variable labeled cosm uh, underscore r. Sometimes this is useful. Um, so now we go on on how to transform variables, uh, where I mainly focus on the command compute. Um, if you go to your uh, interface, you can go to transform, compute variable. Uh, well, here I already typed it in. Uh, you can uh, here label the new variable. I label it the mean of willingness to pay. Um, I looked up this numeric expression uh, using by all you go to mean and you just enter this arrow and then it will include this um, in the command. Uh, here are the variable names uh, that you look up here. You just press on the variable and you include it here. Uh, now if you press OK it will create this variable at the bottom of your uh, data file. Now this can also be done in uh, using the syntax file. Compute, I will label it willingness to pay, um, is mean and dot. So again you see that it will add this variable to your data file. Um, Next, I would like to show you how to select a part of the data file. Now, why is this useful? Sometimes you just want to run the analysis for just a set of uh, respondents, not all of them at the same time. Um, so you can use uh, the temporary uh, command, select if, and another, additionally, I will also include um, say something about the weights. Now, if you go to the data, to the menu you can go to uh, select cases um, if condition is satisfied for instance i just want to have the uh, men which i think is one um, and just press ok so you see here a filter emerging and it just shows you that these these cases are all not uh, taken into account when you run analysis right now. So if I run again these frequencies, you'll see that these numbers change. Yeah, there's only 776 people instead of uh, 1500. Uh, now you can do this uh, easily also with syntax, where you just put temporary, meaning you will not delete uh, the other uh, cases. Uh, selective Now, here you get the same table. Uh, as opposed to the filter that you created in your data file using the menu, uh, this one uh, filter will only hold uh, for this command. So if I put the cosm behind blow here, you will see that the second uh, table includes all the cases. Uh, so, in order to do some analysis uh, for only men, you have to uh, select and copy this and place it in front of each command that you want to execute only for the men. For instance, if I would put... You will get the marital status just for the men. Um, now, I also want to show you how to weigh the variables. Uh, you can do this through the menu by weight cases. Uh, there is actually a weight included in the data file. Um, and you can just weight it. Uh, if you go to the data file, you will see that here uh, is labeled the weight on. Now you can also do this in the syntax file. Uh, what was the variable again? Uh, S. Uh, 
uh, if you want to uh, just weigh uh, one of the frequencies, just the marital status, but you do not want to use the weight for the rest of the analysis, you just put the line weight off at the end. So actually in our data set, the weight is just a one, meaning that everyone is counted once in the analysis. So as you can see, it will not make any difference if I put without weight or with weight. You see, it's the same table.